You know, the milk, after like uh, two sips, you're like starting to calm down a little bit. Right. But I know you're about you to know, say, you like, ready for the next one, guys? <laughs> it's like, you ready um, to move on? Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by Kevin, Joe, and Nick Jonas together through the Grammy-nominated Jonas Brothers. The new album, Happiness Begins, is set to release on June 7th, followed by a reunion tour, the band's first in nearly a decade. Get your tickets, they're on sale now. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you so Thank much. You. And then here, this is our first ever trio episode. We have a record 40 wings on the table. Any predictions oh. for how this will all end? A little aggressive. Yeah, there is a spice called Hellfire on the table. And we're, just gonna, we're just gonna send it. So we're starting here. We're the starting classic. here. Our classic, classic hot the sauce. Mountain. Along the way, we're gonna hit Da Bomb, Beyond Insanity. That's that seems intense. We're going for a ride. This is very good, though. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank if you, you had to rate tang. your favorite Jonas Brothers based off hot sauces. Where would I fall? Nick, you're very. Uh, I think that you're. Um, da Bomb. You're Los Calientes. You're Los, Los Calientes. Calientes. Oh. Oh, Sick. so I got some room to improve. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll see how it goes here. Okay. So in addition to your many top hits and enormous selling albums, you guys have also written and produced music for some of the biggest artists in the world. And when we had John Mayer on the show, he talked through some of the chord progressions that drive the biggest pop songs. And I'm curious, when you look at the Billboard charts right now, do you see any patterns, any trends in the types of songs that dominate on radio? A lot it's of funny deep. Funny with John Mayer. Yeah. He, he did kind of copy a, a song of ours. <laughs> Little known fact, but you can look it up on YouTube. So the story is he came to us and this is like Grammys years ago. He's like, I love your song, Love Bug. Which and is a banger, two years, Thank you. Thank two you. years later, he released a song and the chorus is literally the same um, without the different lyrics. But it's a compliment when someone does that. Yeah. Um, so you spot that pattern. Careful around your eyes. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, dude. Right out the gate. <laughs> Call the paramedic, Man. Nick's done. Um, I'm like trying not to use my hands. But as far as us, it feels like we kind of locked into something that feels competitive with what's on the radio, but is totally within our world. My lips are already tingling. Oh. Shall we? What's, what's the emergency protocol, though? I'm looking around here. It's like they're doctors. You're trapped on the show, Nick. You're our, you're our hostage on Hot Ones. I don't feel safe. Right, do you eat wings on like your off time? Or no, if I'm off the clock, no. No, wings. no wings. No wings. No wings. Even chill on hot sauce. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Scandal. <laughs> so I know that you guys uh, have a love for sports that goes far beyond just sitting courtside at the Staples Center. Nick, I'm curious, when you spent a week in spring training with the Dodgers back in 2010, is there a story that stands out? Yeah, they didn't want him. <laughs> they didn't make the team. Um, yeah, that was amazing. So funny, not a lot of people know that uh, I did that. He's um, so excited that you just asked that question. I was so excited. <laughs> I can see he just I'm lit just, up. The I'm hangover's just, gone. This is a crazy story. So we're playing the VMAs back in 2008. And there's this gag where we went to the stage, kind of dropped around us, and these fans all surrounded us. And it's like two or three thousand fans. And we look out, and there's this hand above the, the crowd, and it's got a bunch of World, World Series, Series rings, rings on yeah. it. And it's Joe Torre. <laughs> gotcha. And he goes, boys, boys. And it was like an out-of-body experience. I mean, we grew up in New Jersey. It's like, you know, Big Yankees deal. in their heyday, that era. We got to know him and his family. They came to more shows. And then one day, casually, he threw it out. He's like, if you want to come out to spring training, we'll get you in, you know, get you out there. So I, I went out and they, they suited me up. I got to take BP. I like took some, you know, shag some fly balls with Matt Kemp and uh, Andre Ethier back in that iteration. Um, last night we had a good, sports story as well. We bumped into Odell Beckham Jr., who we both were very upset with because he just left the Giants. Right. Yeah. So it was like, he was like, what's up, guys? And immediately I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? And he's like, what? I was like, why did you leave us? Please, <laughs> why, why? But Saquon was there too, which was nice, so. You didn't meet Saquon though, did you? I didn't actually, but I I did. he was in short shorts, right? He was in short shorts? Yeah. And uh, he, beautiful, he, he, beautiful calves. I was right behind him. Great calves.
I had a pep talk before this with my wife. It's pretty mm. good. She said, dumb me down. She loves spicy food. That's really good. I'm just gonna take a picture and just send her so she knows yeah. what, we're up, what we're up against. <sighs> Whoa. Tell her to come on the show while you're at it. I will. <laughs> she probably would crush anyone that comes on here. Yeah, she's amazing. Her spice level is insane. Right. It's well, I'll tolerance. believe it when I see it. You know? Exactly. So when you guys are in the limelight, as long as you guys have been, eventually you just have to concede that you have no control over the headlines, and sometimes an internet rumor with no truth to it can spread like wildfire, get aggregated by 500 sites, and then be a trending topic on Twitter. But here at Hot Ones, we're all about setting the record straight. Oh yeah. So I'm going to hit you with some curious Jonas Brothers storylines, and you tell me if they're fact, fiction, or if there's more to the story, okay? All right. Love okay. it. All right. Your team used to carry a mannequin around on tour that would dress up in clothes you were going to wear the next day, even going so far as to match the underwear to the outfit. That sounds like a good idea. It's not true, but I think we should probably start doing that. That's great. Get a real visual of what it's going to be. All right. Fact or fiction? Two of you auditioned for the role of Captain America in First Avenger. I don't think that's accurate. I was wondering if you did. No. But no, I would have been too young. They the offered person. it to me. It's just I <laughs> couldn't do it at the time. Fact or fiction? Joe Jonas needs a teleprompter to remember Jonas Brothers lyrics on stage. Oh, there's more to that story. Yes, indeed. I just kind of said at this point, when we got the band back together, I was like, guys, I haven't played these songs in six, seven years. And Nick loves to be like, he'll look over and be like, let's play this one tonight. And you're like, I'm looking at fans' faces. Like, How do I tell say me it? the lyrics. You're like, let's play this one tonight. <laughs> So I'm like, why not? <laughs> giving me, like asking them for the lyrics. And at that point I was like, I was like, all right, screw it. I'm just gonna have these prompters on stage and be shameless about it. So I don't need them for every song, but 90% of the songs. Fact or fiction, Kevin was called to testify during a 2017 FIFA bribery scandal. Yes, that's true, actually. But you're not allowed to say anything because it's actually No, it's public docket. I oh it is? Public, yeah. Oh dope. I just don't want to talk about it because I don't I'm nervous about someone coming are you allowed to my to house say why? Like, are you allowed to say why you had to go? Yeah. Well, because of... It, it's because of Joe. There's more to this story. I was out it's of the country. It's Joe's fault. So Joe was the one that was actually got subpoenaed. Um, it's because he mentioned that in a Rolling Stone note, Stone... Sorry, that spice is starting to get in the back of my throat a little bit. <laughs> um, Rolling Stone article that we were at a Paul McCartney concert the day before our concert. Well... The way that I guess the attorney general wanted to prove that this concert actually happened was to prove that someone was there. And the way they could do that was by subpoenaing Joe. Well, he was out of the country. Well, I was also there, so I have to go in. Yeah. It was nerve wracking. I imagine. One more for you guys. Joe Jonas was responsible for the errant Starbucks cup that snuck into Westeros in that recent episode of Game of Thrones. That would be amazing if it was. <laughs> I wish I was, was just me. thinking about that. That would have been so incredible if you like f- basically fuck something up in Game That'd of Thrones. Be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I actually. So I asked Sophie, my, <laughs> my lady, about that. Say. I was like, so I was like, did you guys do that on purpose? Like, you know, you, you try to do that because I know there was a pickup truck in last season. I don't know if you saw that in like one of the fight scenes in the very back. There's like a white pickup truck. <laughs> so you start doing that just to mess with the fans, and she's like, no, like they literally are like so meticulous about everything. But I kind of wish. They just left it in. I guess the HBO took it out now. Oh, but we should have left it. Left it in. Or it should, leave that in. Maybe it should just be an Easter egg in every scene now. I gotta get a good bite. Hmm. Oh. I like this one too. Mm-hmm. Me too. Tasty. Not too spicy. Oh, <laughs> it's getting there. It's creeping. <laughs> yep. It's just a slow burn. Oh man, we're four in. This is bad sign. And that was uh, that was kind of hefty. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Oh damn, we're dead. So when you're doing any sort of creative pursuit, let alone one under the umbrella of a global powerhouse like Disney, my guess is that along the way you have to pick and choose some of your battles. Early on, what are some of the things that you're happy you pushed back on? I know even the Jonas Brothers name was something you had to fight for. Yeah, the Jonas Brothers name originally was J3. We had merch mocked up, our first concert, we got on stage, and we looked at each other and we're like, we don't want to be called J3, because we weren't out there doing dance moves. And so we just got on stage and said, hey, we're the Jonas Brothers instead of J3. Um, I think at some point, like, we just couldn't help but have, like, five o'clock shadow, and we're playing, like, 15-year-olds on, and we're, like, 19 on Disney Channel. Oh, right, and the show, right. <laughs> so, like, we're, like, shaving every hour, like, every hour or every other hour, 
to be like teenagers on the show. So that was like a little tricky, as you can tell. It's a little hard. What do you wow. remember about the Jonas Brothers short lived punk rock phase? Mm. Epic. <laughs> so extreme. We were like scene kids from Jersey at, so at one point. Like we were going to see MXPX and Slick Shoes oh, yeah. and, you know, all of those bands, like, you know, punching people in the face in the mosh pit kind of thing. And Kevin did a backflip in a mosh pit twice. <laughs> wow. And hit the, the same guy in the nuts <laughs> twice. <laughs> I did. And I watched Kevin, I'm like, he's going to get beat up. Like now, this guy has every right to fight him. And the guy who still was like, you know, in like a mosh, they're like, it's all good. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> Kevin deserves to get his ass kicked right now. Los Calientes. Los Calientes. This, this is, is me. You. Some call it the uh, Nick Jonas of hot sauces. Alrighty. So. It's very Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, you're kind of right. It's good. Yeah. It's like, I can handle it for just like a small amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right, guys, we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Graham, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. And for the third time in Hot Ones history, we have an all-sports theme. Oh, so great. I'll Sick. show you the picture. You guys just tell me the bigger story. Does that sound good? Yes. I love it. Sounds good. Wow, this table's big enough. I might actually not even need you anymore, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just fire someone on the show? Sorry. <laughs> Do you have a lasting memory from sharing the Cowboys sideline with Buzz Aldrin? He did not want to take this picture with us. <laughs> he refused. He had no I idea. I walked up and said, uh, Mr. Aldrin, <clears throat> I was like, excuse me, Mr. Aldrin, like, I'm such a big fan. Do you mind if I take a picture? He's like, no, no pictures. And turn around and I was like, uh, uh, which was a great enough story. And somehow I think his PR person was like, like no. no, you should take this picture. <laughs> but he had uh, spaceships, if you can see, all over his suit. And he's a badass. All right, can you give me the itinerary? What goes down when the Jonas Brothers take over the Masters? This is a tradition, a growing tradition. We go in on either Saturday night or Sunday morning and we go for Sunday at the Masters. And obviously this year was incredible uh, with Tiger coming back to win it all. I was on 18, what happened to him? See? Just let me drop that real quick. So everyone heard that? Pick that up. Um, also, Michael Phelps commented on your. That's really cool. I just saw that. So, so sick, sick, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> that's and then awful. finally, Nick, here you are taking batting practice, and you really make the rounds. I got a lot of love for a lot of teams. Um, any team that will have me come do BP, I'm a fan of. Uh, Look at that. So stance. the story You're with about this to hit a bomb, bomb right there. Yeah, yeah. Albert Pujols and his wife have an amazing charity all around ending human trafficking, raising awareness for human trafficking. So the last two years, actually on my birthday, I performed a show uh, at Angel Stadium um, and it was, you know, for this cause. And then Albert was like, why don't you come and hit BP? So Joe came out, we took BP, I got two out. Put two out? Put two out. I got videos to prove it. It just says hell on it. Oh, I got a big chunk of that. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Wow. That's more like I'm typically, I'll stop. Right there. But not today. Not today. <clears throat> not today, Joe. Oh, it stays in there. So you guys have been pretty open about the role that group therapy played in helping bringing you guys back together, which is something I think a lot of brothers and sisters watching right now can relate to. Can you talk through some of the challenges in that process? Because the way you guys have it is not under normal circumstances. You know, like on one hand, you have this shared goal of bringing the band together. And then on the other side of that, you have a life in the public spotlight where everybody's poking holes at the relationship all the time. I think deciding to get back together as a band was like, a lot for us because I think for the longest time we just kind of put stuff under the rug and we said we're not going to talk about this anymore let's just move on let's rebuild our relationship and our friendship that was like a pretty tough few weeks there where we had to just open it but now it's <clears throat> sorry the spice is kidding me now it's really about like being as honest as we can with each other and not like we used to be sneaky with some of the decision making and one person would go directly to maybe our management and talk to them separately than us and we'd be like no we're a band we got to talk about this also family first, making sure that we're all comfortable in whatever we end up doing. 
And that way, we're all happy at the end of the day, and we don't do this for anything other than the reason we want to. This shit is real. This shit is real. This shit is real. What the hell? <clears throat> it's like very, um, it hurt, like it hurts. <laughs> Like I was literally looking down, like down over there for like an EMT, just in case, like ox oxygen tank. When it gets or underneath your tongue. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just getting that part too. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh. My eyes are watering. Like Why legitimately. Why did you agree to do this? This is a terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> Serious question. Sure. What's the process for using the restroom after this is done? I'm honestly concerned. Red carpet treatment here at Hot Ones, we clear you. That's right. No, I mean like a hands, path. can we, mm. we, we can't touch our faces, so. That's a good point to bring up. Thoroughly wash, thoroughly wash. Oh, Holy shit. Before and after, yes. Oh my God. Getting real over here. <laughs> <laughs> that was the smallest little bite ever. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Okay, that's not, I don't know how I feel about this now. So from Taylor Swift walking backwards to Jaden Smith wearing an Iron Man costume, there are a lot of creative ways celebrities use to evade the paparazzi over the years. Do you guys have a go-to tactic? Walk what does Taylor do? Walking backwards? She'll walk backwards so you can't get the picture. Or you have Jaden Smith who will wear like a full <laughs> Iron Man costume. Hold on. Wait, yeah. This needs to be unpacked. <laughs> Wait, she walks backwards she walks like out of camera. Like so this. Like, whatever, like, like this. the bulbs are going and then you just move, yep, you just start walking backwards. It's genius. Wow, <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, Damn, who taught her that? There was one thing, it wasn't paparazzi, it was fans in Argentina had surrounded the hotel to a point that we actually couldn't get to the show. It was unsafe. And so we did just, they were expecting us to get in cars, you know, like car service, the ones that were sitting up front. So we just walked to the back entrance of the hotel and called a couple cabs and rolled straight through in cabs because they were not expecting it. Uh, frightening in the moment. But hiding uh, in plain sight. Hiding mm -hmm. in plain sight. My lips are on fire, literally. <laughs> it's impossible I, to answer your question. Yesterday, getting to like the Met Hotel, like to get ready is like craziness. Oh, I'm sure. <clears throat> and we city bike to the hotel. And so I just kind of like walked in and everyone expected these like big, party buses or That's like these big for. SUVs. So we, me and Sophie just kind of strolled in. And by the time we're like halfway in, they're like, oh, shit, shit, shit. And it's like, we're done. We're, we're out of there. So I recommend city bikes. There you go. Do my Not lips look crazy? Yeah, I feel like very plump. Does it hurt? No, it's just, I feel like, you know. Don't worry about it. Extra we got, sexy. We, got three, <laughs> we have three more. <laughs> oh, man. I touch my lips a lot. Mmm. <laughs> nope. Ugh. <laughs> nope. Uh -uh. It's going uh -uh. through my nose. Uh -uh. <laughs> nope. Uh -uh. So as the story goes, a big part of bringing the band back together was you guys filled a bowl up with questions and then pulled them out and we're all very honest with how you answered them. Go ahead. And that's such a lovely segue to our recurring segment with groups, which is the bucket of BFF questions. And so here's the way it works. You just reach into the bucket, you ask aloud, and then the other two brothers will answer. Nick with I a laugh. I can't lap. breathe. <laughs> I couldn't chew that. Oh, Shit, bring it on. Your eyes are so red. Oh my god. You okay? It's got a half-life, Kevin, so as bad as you're feeling now, it's the worst you're gonna feel. It's amazing that you're crying. You gotta throw up? Mm -mm. Keep it together, man! <laughs> yes, they got Hanson after this. We gotta be better. <laughs> Woo! This is so crazy. For those of you at home watching, this is totally a, a <laughs> authentic reaction. Oh my god. Uh, I don't want to use, you can't use your hands, that's the worst can't, part. Can't do anything. You should use gloves for this. Oh my god. It's coming down, right? It's coming down. It's got a half-life. What the fuck that means? 
Yes. What's one complaint your significant others have about me? Um, uh, intimidating. Well, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, you're late. I'm for late? Yeah, for most things. Yeah. Uh. Who does James Gordon like the best out of all of us? He kissed my neck a couple times yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I think he likes yesterday. I Very kissed flattered. his ring. Yesterday? Yeah, I pre presented his ring and I kissed it. Uh, felt really strange. <laughs> <laughs> but oddly right? Uh, I don't know. Okay. It just felt right. All right, you guys want to reach in for one more. I thought you were going to say the wings and I was going to walk out. All right. Be honest. What was your immediate reaction when you heard Jay-Z rap, No, I'm not a Jonas brother. I'm a grown-up. No, I'm not a virgin. I use my cojones. I thought that was awesome. <clears throat> yeah. Little did Jay-Z know I used my cojones since before that, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, Jay-Z. Fact check your stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. So good. <laughs> I'm just saying no. <laughs> That's fine. You're, you're out. <laughs> it's down to you and me. Do it. Do it. <laughs> We're in this together. Oh, God. There you go, baby. I didn't even bite off it. I got it in my mouth, though. Mm. You looked crazy. Yeah. I go. looked over and your eyes are bright red and you're like tearing up. <laughs> like, you're gonna be a meme. It's awesome. <laughs> Great, another Please, one. internet meme him. <laughs> so your careers have taken you around the world, oh, but I know that awful. New Jersey has a very special place in your guys' heart. For the uninitiated, can you explain a Jersey-style hot dog? Kevin, take it away, because Kevin, Kevin never got out of Jersey. There are a bunch of places that you can go for hot dogs. You got like Coney Island, you got Nathan's, you got that stuff. But in Jersey, you got places like Rut's Hut, that is just amazing. Some grill, some boil. Um, some use the potatoes and yeah, the potatoes and, onions, and yeah. the corn inside. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of the fall, and then you go uh, up towards like apple picking and stuff like that, and they have the apple cider pump. hot dogs. I can't feel my. You know, it's all in the apple cider, like the liquid, which is. Phenomenal. If you haven't done it, do it. Are you still talking about hot dogs? You told me to take it away. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Oh, you look like you didn't know what to say, and then you were like, and then you boil the dog, and you can put it in water, and then you can put it in ice. And... <laughs> put it in ice. Yes, put it in ice. Who would win in a brother's cookout? Joe, I know that you once had dreams of going to culinary school. I did. Um, man, why is why are you doing that? All right. Are you putting more on? I'm dribbling out my mouth. I'm not calling I you a moron. I'm I asking if you're putting more on. Can I smell it? <laughs> Go ahead, give it a smell. Are you a moron? <laughs> Damn. This is the one, this is yours. Brave psyching yourself out. It's so thick. The last dab redux. Mm-hmm. The last dab. And the reason I was shaking it up, Kevin, is because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. You don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, come on, give it to me. Kevin, go. come Kevin. on, Kevin. Kevin? You made it this far, buddy. Do you want to see me cry? Come on. I would did, love to see did, you cry. I was just crying. There you go, Kev, come on. It's like the Avengers over here. Did Thor give up? Did Captain America oh. give up? I don't think so. Thick boy. Dab that baby. Do people like just eat this for like their normal wings? I think people probably throw parties, right? Yeah. They do this. They do all the time. We get those videos all the time. Go on YouTube, look up hot ones, parties, whatever. I get that tweeted at me every day. Because hot sauce is one of those things. You always wonder, could I handle so, that? It's I mean, like that? watching yeah. your show as often as I have, I'm like, I'm like, really? They're acting it up. And then I get Can it you? now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shaq. I'm sorry, Kevin Hart. Here we go. Oh. All right. Bottoms up, boys. Fuckers. That was that hot sauce diesel cough. Holy shit. Joe. Oh, that one's like, that one's just. 
All right, guys, here we are at the summit of Mount Scoville. We are at Spicy Wing Valhalla, a place that very few people have ever been before. And it's such a beautiful moment. You guys back together, about to go on tour. And we just set a hot one set record by taking down 40 wings. Take so that, now take that, it's take time that, take that, to take give that. this very special episode the send off it deserves with a little game. So I'll ask you a question and then I will count to three and then you guys have to answer that question at the exact same time. We'll see if the stage presence, the stage chemistry is still there or if there's some cobwebs we have to dust off. It sits in the back of your throat time. for a little bit. Yeah, it's in there. What song are you most looking forward to playing at the reunion tour? One, two, three. Burn on have you. The city you're most looking forward to playing is blank. One, two, three. Three, all New, New York City. City. And finally, who handled uh, the wings the worst today between these three Kevin. brothers? Kevin. One, two, three. Kevin. Kevin. A unanimous decision, but you made it but, to uh, the, the end of the line. The one that everyone was really dying on, look how much more I took of that than they did, though. You know, like, not a, a ton. I'm not sure I'd hold it up in a way that I'm <laughs> bragging about it. But play you, Kevin. Do you, my man. But look at but Kevin, what, whatever. Joe, and Nick all the way down the spicy wing gauntlet and now there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you guys. This camera, this camera, or oh this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Oh, so we just ate some wings. We got some wings. We have an album coming out June 7th. After that, it's 4th of July. My birthday's August 15th. At Joe Jonas, make sure to hit me up. <laughs> Nick's whole mouth is in his class. Look, look at it, look at it. I'm doing the Kylie uh, challenge. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Good job, guys. <coughs> They're like, if they clap, they'll Kevin, stop good job. hurting. Thank you, man. Dude, awesome. thank you, man, for having us yeah, on. That was so fun. That was it? You guys have a good time? Oh, yeah. That was so fun. fun. Just do one you quick. Have you ever had someone puke? Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? This is Sean Evans checking in to say thank you so much for watching today's episode. But I have a stern warning for those of you out there who've been watching us now for nine seasons and have still not subscribed. This is your final warning. Subscribe or else. <laughs>